microscope, you need to take the power cord and, of course, plug it into the outlet. And you need to have it associated the right way. And then you hit the on switch. The light source will take a second to come on. Now, if you hear a popping sound, then that means that um, this has been tripped and you need to press the red button to reset it. So once your light source is on, um, what it does is it shines light through the condenser lens onto the specimen. And you can control the intensity of the light using the diaphragm, which is located right here below the condenser lens. What this does is it controls the intensity of the light that is focused on the specimen. And um, what you want is at lower magnifications, you want a lower amount of light. As you increase your magnification, you want to turn this diaphragm to where you see this circle getting larger and larger, meaning you're getting more light focused through that condenser lens. When you're on your highest magnification, you want to be on the highest in intensity of light so that you can get the highest resolution available. Okay, whenever you're ready to bring a slide into view, the first thing you want to do is rotate this ocular lens around so that you can have it in front of you instead of having to view it from behind. Um, there are two focus knobs here. You have the coarse focus, which what it does is it raises and lowers the stage. And you have this smaller knob, which is your fine focus, which you'll notice does not raise or lower the stage. It just finely focuses in and out. And you have these knobs on both sides, so you can do it with one hand or with both hands. Okay, this microscope in particular does not have a mechanical stage. Um, this is the stage here. You'll see that there are two stage clips. And uh, some choose to use these clips, some choose to not use them. If you do plan on using your stage clips, what it will do is hold your slide in place. You need to place your slide underneath the stage clips and move it so that the specimen is directly in the light. Now, if you choose to not use these stage clips, you just simply push them to the side. And again, you place your slide on the stage where you can see your specimen is directly in the center of the light. Okay, when you're ready to bring your slide into focus, you have it on the stage with it right directly in the middle of the light. You always want to start with your lowest objective, which in this case is 4x. So you'll see I have the 4x objective in position. And then um, the very first when you begin, you want to use the coarse knob. And you'll see the stage is in the highest position on the lowest objective using the coarse knob and looking through the ocular. This ocular will turn. You want to turn it to face yourself. Looking through the ocular, you use the coarse knob and move the stage down until you see it in focus. Now, once it is in focus using that coarse adjustment, you can use the fine focus to fo finally focus in and out on the specimen. And you should never have to use this coarse knob again, not even when you're increasing objectives. Once you use it the first time, you should never have to touch it again. Once you're in focus at 4x and you're ready to increase your objective to 10x, what you do is you swing the 10x objective into place. And again, you want to adjust your iris diaphragm so that you can get a greater amount of light traveling through the specimen. And again, you do not touch the coarse adjustment knob. You only touch this fine focus because these are parfocal. It should still slightly be in focus, and you should only have to do some fine adjusting. Now that you're finished viewing at 10x, you're ready to increase objectives to 40x, which is the maximum magnification for this microscope. So again, you swing the 40x objective into place. Again, you want to increase the iris diaphragm. And again, it's indicated by the size of the circle on this wheel right here. For the highest intensity of light traveling through the specimen, you want the, high, the largest circle on this wheel in place. And then again, you, use, you just use your um, fine focus. Because these are parfocal, it still remains in focus. And now you're viewing it at a total magnification of 40x times 10x, which is 400x total magnification. Once you're finished viewing your slide, of course, you want to put your microscope away appropriately. The first thing you want to do is remove your slide from the stage. And you want to make sure your stage clips are back in the appropriate position so they're not hanging off the side. 
Using the course knob, you want to bring the stage to the lowest position, as well as place the lowest objective lens in position. And what that does is it will keep you from scratching your lens. If you put it away with the highest objective in and the stage up, this will actually scratch your lens. So to keep from doing that, you want the stage all the way down and the lowest objective in place. Now you want to make sure to return your diaphragm to the lowest position, indicated by the size of the circle, and turn your light source off. Of course, unplug and wrap your cord and use the cover to cover up the microscope. You want to make sure to turn your ocular around just for saving space and make sure to cover it, which is going to keep it clean of any dust or debris. You'll notice that some of the microscopes you might use have a mechanical stage, and they do not have the normal slide clips you see on the non-mechanical stages. The way you insert a slide onto this slide holder is you open this arm right here, you simply place your slide in and release, and that holds the slide into place. You never want to try and place the slide underneath this arm right here as you would with the non-mechanical stage clips. With this one, you just put the slide into place, and that will hold it right there. And this mechanical stage is handy. You can actually move your slide up and down and side to side with this mechanical stage. So you can bring your specimen into the field of view and move it up and down and side to side. You'll notice that some of the microscopes you're going to use will have a 100x objective lens. And this lens is also called the oil immersion lens. Anytime you're using the 100x objective, you have to be using oil immersion. So when you have your specimen in focus at 40x, the way you use oil immersion is you will swing this to where you're halfway in between your 40x and 100x objective. And you take some immersion oil and just simply place one little drop of oil right where the light is shining on the slide. You do not need a lot of oil. Just one drop will be fine. And then you will swing this 100x objective directly into the oil. And again, because these are parfocal, you should still have your specimen slightly in focus. You might need a little bit of fine adjusting as well as increasing your diaphragm here, again giving you the greatest amount of light going through the specimen as well as the highest resolution. Once you have gone to oil immersion, you've put oil on your slide, you cannot swing the 40x objective back into the oil. Only the 100x objective can be in the oil. So if you have a problem, you're going to have to take your slide off, clean the oil, and start again. Once you're finished with your 100x objective, you need to clean the oil off the lens. Of course, you have oil here on your slide, which you can remove, and you also have some oil here on the lens. So what you do is you take a chem wipe and just lightly wipe the lens. You don't want to scrub because that will actually scrape the lens. You just lightly wipe it. And of course, if you made any mess on the stage, you want to wipe that up as well. Another term that is used when describing microscopes is resolution. And resolution is actually a distance measurement. Resolution is the distance between two objects where you can still identify them as se separate and distinct. For example, the resolution of the human eye is 0.2 millimeters. So that would mean that two objects could be 0.2 millimeters apart and your eye can still identify those as separate and distinct objects. Any closer than that and they would kind of get fuzzy and go together. Now the resolution of this compound light microscope is 0.2 microns or also called 0.2 micrometers, meaning that um, two objects can be 0.2 microns away when viewing them under the microscope and you can still see them as separate and distinct. For example, two cells. Space, 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 space.